All right, guys. Seems like Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp and everything is down. So we're going to uh, kill some time with a. Oh, that's quiet. Okay, so we've got Vienna Max Lang Defense, and uh, it's tempting now to go in with a queen and threaten mate. Um, is it a bit premature? If I do that, what's he going to do? My opponent's rated 1086. This is a 15 minute game. Uh, could bring his queen out, could go there, could. No, the knight doesn't work. Let's let's have a go. Let's have a poke. I've slid about 50 points today. Okay, and now bring the queen back to f3 and have another stab. Okay, so he's brought his knight there. So now I'm going to push d3 and maybe think about pinning the knight. He could just think to his bishop to uh, g7 or even e7 and break that pin. Right. Now, let's go in, let's develop. Oh, he's got this as well. Okay, so he's gone there. Um, now this adds another attacker to the knight. And I'm not sure how he can defend. He can't move the knight. I've got three attackers on it now. So now surely that just wins the knight. Bishop takes. If bishop takes, I've got knight in with check. Could be nice. This comes with check anyway. Um, hmm. Which is best? Bishop takes, bishop takes, knight takes, king in the corner. Well, I need to win the knight anyway. So I'm going to capture with my knight. He's weakened his dark squares with pushing that g6. So, but my bishop is now actually the knight's pinned on the bishop. So, question is, what's he going to do? I could push h4 and defend the bishop with a pawn. Also, then advancing a pawn, getting ready to push on and cause trouble. to be aware of that bishop. Don't want to bring my knight out here. My knight's probably going to come round. Okay, so he's taken. So now, do I threaten an exchange of queens? Or do I just threaten his queen? I'll, th I'll threaten his queen. So now the queen's got to move there or there. And now my bishop is not attacked. So, I do now have this because the queen can't take on there. Previously, the bishop could have taken on there. This pawn's pinned. Um, another option is simply to try and squeeze my queen in here and mate. That looks threatening. Queen can't go. Okay, well, that's not. I think that's too little too late. I could just castle. If I go with my queen now, he comes here, I move my king, and it's going to be mate. So that's the question. Do I have time? He comes in with a fork, I move. I don't think he can check me again. Or just castle. Let's just castle. I think it's winning anyway. I still have this idea. Pushing the pawn one or two squares doesn't doesn't help. Does he have this? Pawn takes. Yeah, it's in a sticky situation. The 
Queen can't go there, there, or there. How does he stop this in two moves? Is there any way? Knight here, I think, is the only option, but then pawn takes knight. And I'm two pieces up. There's my dog walking in. I can just take the queen now. Just take the queen. Okay, now my bishop is still safe and this is still on. Surely. Let's see what he can do. He can bring the knight back and I just take the knight. Okay, there we go. Resignation. Okay, good game. Let's see if he wants a rematch. No, apparently not. Right, let's um, have a quick look at the report. See if the computer says I should have just gone straight in for the kill. So, 96 accuracy. Yeah, and one missed win. So we think we know what that is. Bishop out. This was too slow. Okay, it wanted me to develop the knight. And that was okay. Queen back is best. Knight here, good. There, now, what basically what happened is he missed the threat here. So the, the machine wanted me to bring my knight out to there now. Okay. And yeah, dropping your knight into that pocket would have forced my queen back all the way to d1. So it's a real missed opportunity. Okay, so now we've got barrage on the knight, and that is just... that's a blunder. Because now knight comes in, taking advantage of the pin, take with check, takes, takes, and wow, he should have counter-attacked. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. And queen to there is best. Blunder. Yeah. So basically it's saying that that was the way. So queen h6 was best, and then knight would have come back, preventing the mate. Aha! Right, and then knight f3, and he loses his queen, whatever happened. So, yeah, just goes to show all those, those, those opening moves, um, how careful you've got to be, because you can lose in just a few, just a few moves. So there you go, there's one crushing win against a 1084 player in the Vienna. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you later.